Hi, today we are learning about uh, positive and negative numbers on the number line. This is from module 3 and it's lesson 1. Uh, it's a new module and I think you're going to enjoy doing it. Um, so the first thing we're going to show you today is a number line. And we're all very familiar with the numbers to the right of zero. Those are the numbers that we've worked with probably since kindergarten, where the first one is 1, the second one is 2, and so on. However, what you may not remember, and some of you may have, is that the numbers to the left of zero are called negative numbers. The numbers to the right are positive numbers, and the numbers to the left are negative numbers. So this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, and negative 10. Now what you may have noticed is that the positive numbers have no sign. There is actually a positive sign and it is this. However, we don't write positive 1 or positive 2 because um, people just dro started dropping it. We're used to seeing it without the positive sign. And so if you don't see a positive sign, you can assume that it is a positive number. However, because of that, if we have a negative sign, a negative number, we have to have a negative sign. So negative 2 has to have the negative sign in front of it. And you'll notice that it's uh, slightly above and not in the middle because when it's in the middle people sometimes think that it means minus um, but it doesn't so there are there is a positive side and there is a negative side what I want to talk to you today about is the opposites um, what you notice in the middle right here is the zero the zero is what sets and defines our number line between positive and negative so if we're in a number line and we decide we want to move four spaces to the number four, marked that way, we know that that is we've moved four spaces. One, two, three, four. If, however, we decide we want to go to the opposite number, we would go back to the zero and we would go the opposite way. So we would go one, two, three, four four spaces and that would bring us the opposite number. So if we were to write this in a sentence we could now say that the opposite of and we say it as positive 4 is negative 4. And then if we were saying the reason why, it is because it is four spaces to the left the, on the opposite direction. Positive goes this way, negative goes the opposite that way. So that is why negative four would be the opposite of positive four. Okay, that's pretty much the lesson for today. The important thing that you need to know is that zero does not have um, an opposite, it's not, we don't have a negative zero. Zero is its own opposite. So if, if you get an, a question like, what is the opposite of zero? It is going to be zero because zero it doesn't play sides. So um, the next thing I want to tell you though is a vertical number line because on a vertical number line, where the halfway point, we'll make it here, it's not always there. It might be up higher, it might be lower, but this happened to be stated halfway, so we'll put it there. On a vertical number line, the numbers that go up are the positive. These are the positive numbers. And the numbers that go down are the negative, written the same way. And it runs the same route. If we have a a negative 2 here and we want the opposite of negative 2 
Let's see, negative 2 goes down two spaces to get to 0. So we have to go two spaces the opposite direction to get to the opposite, which would be a positive 2. Also written as positive 2. So those, uh, that's pretty much the lesson today. It's a very quick lesson. However, what I would like you to do is IXL. And the IXL today that I want you to do is not a number one. So I'm going to have to explain it to you. It's in the M's, in the integers. It is M just below 3. So it's in integers. And it's titled today, Understanding Opposite Integers. You should be able to get to it pretty through it pretty quick. It is right below the three, so probably like three point five. Um, understanding opposite integers. Sorry, I spelled that so bad. And there you have it. That's your lesson for today. Tomorrow we're going to talk some more about positive and negative numbers and how they work in the real world. Thanks.